What's up guys, StuDog here, welcome back to some more Dueling Book Duel commentary. We got JB Hampton 1 here at 250, but he's got that high experience, over 1500 experience. Dang man, I should be so scared to be recording this guy's duel. He's going to show us some insane powers. Looks like it's going to be Dark Magicians from our other player, his username is... Junk Rata Prime. All right then. It's the pot of Neg Nine activated and Ash Blossom to make it pot of Neg Eleven. Pot of Neg Nine is bad enough, but hey, pot of Neg Eleven, a little worse. So are we gonna see the Clutch Herald of Orange Light to negate this Ash Blossom, or is this gonna resolve? I hope it's gonna resolve. No Herald of Orange Light. Unfortunate. Twin Twister activated, going to be pitching that Dimensional Barrier, which I guess isn't the best of cards against Dark Magician. And that gets rid of a Eternal Soul along with a Dank Magic Attack. Yes, the Dark Magic Attack. Oh yeah. And JB is just going to set three cards phase down on the field and pass it to our Dark Magician player. He's going to normal summon that Magician's Rod. And let's see if these effect is successful. Of course it is not. Solemn Strike is activated to negate that effect. And this game state is already very simplified. Both these players low on resources. Terraforming top decked from JB and if he's playing invoked well looks like he can start his train going. So I go for that magical meltdown. No. Ooh it's ABC's actually. Wow. So Junk here, Junk a Rat. I don't know what's his name. Junk, Junk Rat Prime. He thought it was Draco, but it's not Draco. It's ABCs. And that Union Hanger is gonna generate a lot of advantage. It's gonna add a free A Assault Core. He's gonna normal summon that and equip the B Buster Drake. Ah, uh, yeah. So that terraforming, essentially like the best draw he could have gotten in the current situation. This is going to attack directly for 1900. And I'll be back to Junk's turn. And he's pretty much in pure top deck mode here. Only two cards in hand to work with. Top deck's into a Spobook Magician of Prophecy. And we get to see the Solemn Warning used to negate that normal summon. All the Solemns get in there. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. So, it's unfortunate for Junk. He might not scoop it up yet. If JB draws garbage, then he's only taking 1,900 points of damage at a time. Just a sec, a bunch of Solemns. Oh, just sack a bunch of Solemns. I thought he'd be saying just a sec, like he had to do something. All right, so that was a very swift game number one, but, you know, the good thing about Yu-Gi-Oh is... The game is played in a match, best 2 out of 3, so despite losing that first game, 5-5-5 five, five, five rating. He actually has more experience. I mean, I was talking about this guy's experience, 1,500. This guy's 1,600 plus experience. So both these guys, very experienced duelists. We're going to wait for them to side deck. Thank you all for watching the first 4 minutes of this video. I'm going to pause the video, and we'll be back shortly. Okay, guys, welcome to game number 2. So Junk decides to go first, he's got himself a 40 card deck, 15 in that extra deck. He actually went first in the previous duel, but didn't really have the best of opening. But he's got his Magician's Rod to get himself that free plus one. Playing a lot of cards that are plus ones, like the Blue Boy, plus one. So that dark magical circle. And Irreparable Game State, boys! Oh yeah, that is an Irreparable Game State. Aeroparable game state. Reveal one Dark Magician. He didn't reveal it. It could be any old random card. Ah, did you guys just see this? <laughs> oh my god. Then you can reveal one Dark Magician or one Spell or Trap that specifically this Dark Magician. So he didn't even reveal anything. He just added a random card. Ban it. Okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. Apparently the Watcher's Chat has nothing to say about that. This should be an Aeroprobable game state. And if JB really wanted to, he could actually call an admin right now and get a free game win. Thankfully, he's going to be a good sport about it. 
And he's like, who cares? I'm going up against a Dark Magician. That deck's terrible. I'm going to whoop your butt either way. But yeah. There is no reveal. It just adds a random card banished to his hand. And we have no idea what it is. I mean, yeah, he could reveal a Magician card, but we would never have the confirmation that it actually was the card that was brought back from the Magician's Rod. Well, he could technically screenshot the log and send a screenshot URL to his opponent to prove that was the card he added. But that's getting really, really technical. But yeah. <laughs> These guys are just going to duel it out here. Union Hanger is activated from JB. Junk has nothing to respond. Unfortunately, Aesot Core Normal summoned. And again, no response from Junk. That's going to equip the Bee Buster Drake once again. And here is that Clutch Eternal Soul activated upon the attack declaration of that A Assault Core. Cosmic Cyclone is used to banish it. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> Junk desperately wanted to summon some Dark Magicians, man. Fortunately, no Dark Magicians today. And main phase 2, JB is going to set it all. So you got the Solemn Warning and the Solemn Strike again. Ooh, more Scrub Sack. <laughs> and we get to see some Cyber Bowling here from Junk. And like I say, every time, it's not a duel of Yu-Gi-Oh!, Without some nice cyber bowling. More scrub sack. <laughs> he is not a fan of JB's opening. This is a phenomenal opening from him. Conveniently as the field spell. Generate some advantage. Card of demise. Draw three cards. Isn't that fair? He draws into some ABCs and you discard it. That's more fodder for his ABC Dragon Buster. He sets all the back row he can. Four set speller traps. You already know there's some Solemns. But yeah. There's that Spellbook of Secrets activated from JB. And apparently that's fine. No mistake. Chain mistake. Got a sack answer. <laughs> F word. <laughs> Not the bad F word. The other F word. Go. <laughs> How come all the duels that I join, we always see the cyberbullying? Like, why? <laughs> Junk, not a fan of his opponent here. He has the nerve to actually call his opponent a homosexual in front of a live studio audience. So we had four watchers here, but we lost them. We lost half of our guys. Hello, scrubs. <laughs> and now Pops is bowling. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, what's up, Pops25, my main man? Unfortunately, the duel has ended here. Okay, time to dox you. I don't, I don't know what does dox you mean. I'm not hip with this new terminology. Anyway, uh, pretty short episode, which is good. Last week was a half an hour, so you never know what you're gonna get. Last week was a half an hour episode, a nice short eight minute week. Unfortunately, Dank Magician's not able to get the job done this week. The ABC Card of Demise deck from JB ends up victorious and he gets the W picks up some more rating and yeah some more cyber bowling here so again we're gonna have to put featuring cyber bowling in my in my title I love whenever I have to do that <laughs> and we have to do it again here so thank you all for watching as always don't forget to press subscribe to catch this segment every single Thursday if you guys don't know, that's my schedule. This is every single Thursday. If you don't know that this is every single Thursday, you just, you just, you failed me. You failed me, man. I've been doing this every single Thursday for more than three years. Trust me. You go back. I haven't missed a week. Have not missed a week. You go back to my channel for the past three years. Every single Thursday, this video is coming up. I don't care if there's a zombie apocalypse or if 9-11 2.0 is happening and still gonna be up. <laughs> I 
Oh my god. So anyway, thank you all for watching as always, and until next time, this has been Stew Dog, and I'm signing out.